All right, so let's uh, design a forestry road. Our project is in New Zealand. Um, it's about half a kilometer long, and we are going to use LiDAR for it. Uh, we'll time it to see how quick it takes, and uh, we'll start the timer now. Bring in my LAS file for the LiDAR. Setting my projection. modeling that surface to create our tin and making contours 20 and 2. Now we'll come over here. We're going to create a uh, background terrain file. Uh, so this is just a shape file that has two points, our POC, point of commencement, and our POT, point of termination. And we'll save that. Uh, let's just save it over this POC file. And let's come back to our topo and save that as topo now that it's been modeled. Now we're switching to, tr uh, switching to location. Hit new file and I'm going to reference that topo surface we just made. I'm going to add the background. POC. All right. So, plan views or pro yeah, plan view set. I'm going to add my POT in my profile. And now I'm going to use this new feature, uh, shading, to help uh, get a suitable alignment. So I'm going to try and match the topography as closely as I can um, to minimize my uh, earthworks. Just adding a couple of couple profile points, and let's fit our uh, horizontal IPs with our default curve. So 35 got set up for my default curve, and. Got a lot of fill going on here. Um, let's try and minimize that. Use eight percent for our max grade. All right, and now I'm going to go through and add my. Uh, vertical curves, I'll use a K of 4. Alright, now click the multiplot. Open a book layout, and we're done. So we've got a finished design. Um, our multiplot has the uh, first chapter is plan and profile, and uh, mass hall diagram. And our second chapter 
is our cross sections in 20 meter intervals. So, hope you found the video useful and thank you for your time.